One more move and everybody dies! Now, why don't you just tell me what you want? I want my girl here. You got two hours. If she ain't here by then, the lieutenant will die. You won't find that girl alive, well, well. That kid is psychotic. We're gonna take him. The trench is inside. He put himself in there to protect the hostages. Oh, well's time has just run out. He needs five more minutes, for should. I guess this is about the end of the road for you. The money was late getting here. The plane was delayed in Mexico. Are you sweating? Listen, I'm sitting here with 15 ounces of heroin in my safe. Let me sweat. Well, Carol and Devine will be there in a half an hour. Got all the money? They're counting it now. $500,000. $800 bills the way you want it. Mr. LaBelle! I've got a customer. Half an hour. I'll be with you in a moment. Excuse me, ladies. Mr. Lavelle, I need to talk to you in your office. For a moment, please. Excuse me, Miss Faraday, an urgent matter. Won't take a moment. Come with me. After you. Sorry. I want all the money that's in that safe there. You got $10,000, I know that, right? Look, the quicker I get it, the quicker I get out of here, nobody gets hurt. Open the safe. There's no $10,000. Open the safe!
Car 217. Car 217, this is dispatch. Please advise me on robbery in progress. Move out of the way! Stand in front of the door. Get down! Everybody stay calm. Everybody who stays calm, they don't get hurt. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Is there a back way out of here? It's locked. Let's check it together. Come on. Stay down! Move this in front of the door. Come on! All right, let's go. So that. Suppose he's got a television set inside there. Now, why don't you guys set up a PA system? We want him to know what we're doing, right? Huh? Thank you, Lieutenant Trench. Let's move in a little closer and see what's happening. Uh, I'm going to use the phone, all right? Hello? 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 Hello?
Well, I guess somebody's gonna catch a glimpse of me and get a description out to you guys. You run me through records, get out my rap sheet, and half an hour you'll know who I am anyway. Am I right? That's right. My name is Richard Trask. There. Feel better now? Talking to a person, not just a target. How badly is the patrolman hurt, Richard? He's bad. It wasn't my fault. He was trying to shoot me. Look, I want a doctor in here right away. Would you consider letting some of the hostages go at that time? No, I won't consider nothing until a doctor is in here. And listen, if he is armed or if he's a cop, somebody in here will die. Simple as that, okay? All right. He'll be unarmed for coming alone. You have my word for that. We don't want anyone killed. Neither do I. Richard? Richard? I'll talk to you later. Everybody back behind the police barriers, please. What the hell is going on? Stay loose, I'll find out. Lieutenant Trench is now talking to the doctor who will go in and treat the wounded policeman. Find out everything you can. How many hostages, what state they're in, the layout of the store, anything anybody might say that could help, but don't take any chances. No, I won't. Lieutenant. Oh, great. Uh, Captain John Childrake has just arrived on the scene, ladies and gentlemen. Street cleared. Everyone out. Lieutenant, where is he? He's in the liquor store. Fill me up, fill me up. Pass wants a doctor. Says that the Coleman's hurt pretty bad. I'm about to send him in. Is he the only one injured? As far as we know. Is there any indication this was full firepower? Is there a back door? In the alley? You got a lock man here. Sergeant Riley. Get him. Captain, I promised Trask the doctor would go in alone and unarmed. He will. And when he does, uh, Trask's attention will be distracted, and the element of surprise will work for us. I think it's too dangerous. There are four hostages in there. It's a risk, Lieutenant. But every minute that he is alone in there with those hostages, their risk is greater. Hey, what's going on out there? Come on, let's go. Come on! out of the way. The situation here is very tense. Captain Shildrake has arrived to take charge. There has been sudden activity around the store, but no one knows quite what is happening. No movement from within the store. The doctor is crossing the street now. He's at the door. He's inside now. Get down. Close the door. idea they were going to do that. Now, just let me tend to him. Pass me the phone. Trent, what do you think you're doing? Die? That's the way to do it. That happens again and everybody dies. It won't happen again. I'll see to that. There are a lot of policemen out here and communications are breaking down. Now listen, Richard. I've got a deal for you. A straight exchange. I'm listening. 
We don't know whether any of the hostages were hurt in the exchange of fire, but a new offer has been made to Trask. Lieutenant Trench will exchange himself for the two women. Trask has not agreed to all of them going, but to two of them. That exchange is about to take place. See it happening right here on KDSC TV. Lieutenant, if it's a question of having a policeman in there, why don't you let me go in your place? Why, well, Roberts? That's very gallant, Sergeant, but I need someone out here to make sure Sheldrake doesn't get me killed. I'm coming in! Listen, when you get across there, tell them nobody hurt you. No one touched you, right? Am I right? All right, stand up. <laughs> Go. Lieutenant, nothing goes right for you. Listen, you only move when I tell you to. Those are the ground rules, right? Go to that post over there. Wrap your arms around it. Go on. Lock your hands. You see, that was a very stupid stunt you guys tried to pull back there. Any one of these people might have been very badly hurt. And I'm responsible for them now. I'm glad to hear it. Because if this man isn't in the hospital in 20 minutes, he won't make it. Why don't you let the doctor take him out of here? You have three hostages. We aren't going anywhere. Richard. Richard. There are a lot of people out there that can wait longer than you can. Now, why don't you just tell me what you want? I want my girl here. Her name is Virginia McBain. Only don't send no cop after her. See, Lieutenant, she's a junkie. If she sees a cop, she'll panic. All right. I know someone who can get her. Someone I trust. He's a private detective. No, no, a detective's no good. Just as bad as a cop. Not this one. He understands people. He knows how to talk to them. Please trust me on this. You better be right. Captain. Yeah. Captain, this is Harry Orwell. He's a private detective. We've met. We've met. Look, Orwell, this is no place for a civilian. I'm sorry I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Robert! Yep. Get Harry Orwell down here! Orwell. I'm already here, Trench. Time to come in! Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I don't like this. I mean, what does he want you in there for? Well, when I find out, I'll let you know. There has been a dramatic new development here. This is the first communication we've had from Lieutenant Trench inside the liquor store. He's asked for a man named Harry Orwell. You heard no mention of the heroine. We don't know yet who he is or no. why Trask. Just the liquor store being ripped off. Lavelle will crack. He'll make a deal if he thinks it'll save him. But either of you two guys know who this Trask is? A boyfriend of one of our users, Virginia McBain. He's kind of a singer. He used to see her in one of the nightclubs down on Sunset. And he didn't hit that liquor store by accident. He knew Lavelle was going to be collecting a half a million dollars this morning, and she's the one who supplied him with the information. How did she get it? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. You got an address on her? I can get it. Bring her here. Trask is a young man, brown, curly hair, intense, and with a violent temper. Mrs. Faraday says he appears confused, as if he has started something he does not know how to stop. He was threatening, she says, but seems somehow confused. Her name's Virginia McBain. She lives in the Bellflower Apartments in Hollywood, Pico and Fairfax. Now listen, when you get there, she's gonna be in pretty bad shape. She's a junkie, and she needs a fix. I just hope you get there before... Before what? Before anybody else does. Who would that be? Never mind. 
the doctor go with him. Hey, can you hear me? The doctor's taking you out of here now. Listen, I had the shoot, right? Well, now he's gonna kill somebody before just, this day is over. Just make sure the girl gets here. I made sure I didn't kill you. All right, get your stretcher in here. Oh, well. I don't want any of those cops out there to know where you're going. You've got two hours. If she ain't here by then, the lieutenant will die. I mean that. Let's get the stretcher. What's happening in there, old man? is going to let the doctor take the wounded policeman out. That's all I can do. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you I want to see you for? Oh, well, come on. I'll be right back. Oh, some of them get pretty wild. I got no time for most of them, but I like Virginia. I must have tried to talk her out of that filthy habit a hundred times. So did Richard. Hey, what makes him do a thing like that? I've been watching it on the TV. He's going to get himself killed. You know where she might have gone? Could be anywhere. Is she in trouble, too? You can see the I'm not worried about her. ...window of the store. Harry Orwell has just returned. Is this what Trench? Jason Elliott. John Carroll. The girl is gone. I took her place apart. There was no stuff. It looks as if Who's Orwell a pusher? Going back into the I'd ask around in the streets. Find him. I want that girl located. You got it. Orwell, you gotta find it for me. And don't mess with me. The two-hour deadline still goes. I'll make it from right now. Yeah, but you gotta give me something to go on. Who does Virginia see? Where would she go? An address, something. I don't know. Richard, you said she needed a fix. Maybe she went directly to her pusher. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, George. George something. He's got a Slavonic last name. He lives in North Hollywood. See, he used to date Virginia's sister, Jill. That's how Virginia got messed up in this whole thing. Use my phone. Well, right, they're, they're gonna take down. a little more than two hours to use your... That's all the time you've got! Five after four, right? Am I right? Go on, get out. Well, tell him he's right. <laughs> I'd gone through the files in Trench's office and found one Slavonic name, George Tenenescu. He stayed at the Majestic Hotel in North Hollywood. He had to be Virginia's pusher. It all fit. But if he wasn't at home, I was in big trouble. He was at home. What's your name? Karen. Karen Bremer. You're very pretty, you know that? Somebody told you that before, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. I've seen you someplace before. You ever been in the newspaper? Come on, come on, you know what I'm talking about, help me. Probably with my father. Yeah, your father? Who's that? Harrison Bremer. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, the politician, right? The politician with a lovely daughter. He's running for mayor, right? He's a very important man, your father. He's worth a lot of money. Hey, Trench, we didn't realize what a valuable hostage we got here. I want an M16 rifle brought in here right away with 300 rounds of ammunition. I'll never go for that. Oh, okay. yeah? You talk to him. It's 10 minutes to 3. They got 20 minutes. If they don't get here by then, this guy dies. He's crazy. Tell him I don't know how long it'll take to get one here. 20 minutes is it. Gun and the ten magazines of ammunition, but I want the firing cap removed from every round. What if he checks them? You're right, Robert. So leave one mag live, the one on the receiver. That's the one he'll check. What are you going to do when your girlfriend does arrive? Oh, yeah. I want a syringe brought in for her. Where are you going to get the stuff? I got a supply. What happens then? Look, do me a favor, will you? Don't ask me no more questions. I ain't thought this thing through so far. It's already gone a lot further than I expected it to. I mean, I shot a cop during the course of a robbery. I already got a record, you know that? I've been busted for possession three times. But I kicked the habit. I kicked it cold turkey. Did it in London. They got a clinic there. I want Virginia to go to it. So you thought you'd steal enough to buy her one more fix and two plane tickets to London? Yeah, that's right. Why do you need the automatic weapon? For protection. We're all getting out of here together. That is, if your friend Orwell gets here in time. I woke in the middle of a bright violet haze. My eyes kept filling with water, distorting all the shapes around me. But now and then, the curtain shifted, and all I could see beyond was darkness. I could hear someone trying to breathe normally without pain. It seemed to come from a long way away. I suppose it might have been me. I thought about trying to stand up, but I couldn't seem to communicate that thought to the rest of my body. More police are arriving off Harry Orwell, private detective. That's the guy that led into the liquor store. And he was either after us or the girl. So what did Tanisescu have to say to you? That he didn't tell the girl about the collection. Ah, it had to be him. But what else does the girl know? That's what worries me. And we found us in George's place. Oh, my love, Jill. Yeah, I think that's Virginia's sister. He must have gone with her. Uh, well, listen, why don't you take this down to the shop that printed it up, see if you can get them to trace the address and call me back here. Well, let's talk to Mr. Orwell. How are you feeling, Mr. Orwell? What would you give me to drink? The penal sodium, it has a calming effect. I want to know exactly what happened inside that liquor store. Oh, no. There's a guy by the name of Richard who tried to hold it up, and he's got three hostages. Has the safe been opened? Oh, no. Hmm. And what were you doing in Tanisescu's hotel room? Looking for a girl. Virginia McBain? Huh? Oh, this, uh, this guy Richard wants her. Why are you looking for him? We want her, too. You have any other leads on the girl, Mr. Orwell? You think about the question. I'm going to come back in in a few minutes and ask it again. Have an answer. Change my mind. He's not getting it. Well, if he doesn't, somebody in there is going to look, get... look, 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 look. All Trask's got in there are two handguns, right? Here's an officer south. Eventually, he's going to run out of bullets. I'm damned if I'm going to place 30 more live rounds of ammunition in his hands. Do we have a choice? That gun's got to come in right away. Somebody's going to get hurt. He's bluffing. Bluffing? What are you talking about? Bluffing? We can't take that chance with our lives. 
Just a few minutes ago, you told me that Trask was capable of shooting them at any second. Now you turn around, you're trying to tell me that he's bluffing? Captain, Captain, now listen to me. Trench is in there. He put himself in there to protect the hostages. That should mean something to you. Captain! The gun is coming in. Well, get behind the counter. Come on, move. Come on. Turn around. You all right? What did you find out from Walbaugh? George Tanneskill. He went to his hotel. Orwell has 55 minutes to get in here with Virginia. If she can be found, he'll find her. Trust him. He'll be here. You've got the weapon you want. Richard, don't do anything you'll regret the rest of your life. You still have a chance to get out of this alive. I can help you if you'll let me. Hey, you got the syringe there? I have it right here. Bring it here with the ammo. Put it down right here. All right, get out of here. rifle inside the store. If you've been tuned to the station, you'll have witnessed the moment it went in. Many observers here didn't think the police would go through with Trask's demand. I have some information. Keys to your cop. For those of you who are not familiar with it, an MC... You're not thinking clearly, Orwell. Your reactions are sluggish. Why don't you go lie down for a while and we'll talk about it later. I'm gonna get out of here. Give me the keys. Come on. Whatever you say. You won't find that girl alive, Orwell. Get down. Listen, I want to ask you a question. You're not scared to talk to me, are you? This could be for you now. Your parents know you're here? Anyway, they've probably been watching the whole thing on television, right? And those two ladies I sent out of here, they, they probably described you. Here's the question. How much do you think your old man would pay to see you get out of here okay? I don't know. Take this. Call Daddy. The manager of Virginia's apartment told me she'd sung at a rock club down on Sunset. I didn't think it was very important at the time because she'd also added Virginia hadn't been there in months. But now it was all I had left and my time was running out. seen Virginia in six months. I had to fire her. Always high on dope. Who's killing her? You know where I can find her? Uh, well, I had an address for her sister here. That's where she used to stay. It was, uh, yeah, here it is. Jill McBain. 1349 Valley Circle Drive. 1349 Valley Circle Drive, Woodland Hills. 
Thank you. Richard. Richard, why don't you give up if you don't have a chance? When Bremer gets here, why don't you let Lavelle go with Karen? You still have me as a hostage. You ain't gonna want Lavelle to walk out of here. Not after I show you. tried to kill me. What's happened in there? If I don't see a hostage, I'm going to presume they've all been shot. Nobody's hurt in here. Everything's under control. That kid is psychotic. We gotta take him. I want tear gas shot through every window in the front of that store. We'll break in the back on the first shot. But you wait for my signal. Go. I got to Jill McBain's apartment as fast as I could, but I got there too late. And I've been doing that all morning. Jill was my only chance now to find Virginia. Trench's only chance. to go to a bar that George uses for business. That's when he came. I had to tell him. Yeah, I, I, know, I, know, I, I know. What was the name of the bar? It's a shot glass in Hollywood. Yes, I know where it is. A an ambulance is on its way. Is there yeah, you No, you'll come here. Uh, stay with her until the ambulance gets here. All right. I'll find your sister for you. Don't worry. Captain. Yeah. Men are all ready. Good. We're going to fire eight tear gas cartridges simultaneously through the windows. Sir, this is Harrison Bremer. His daughter's inside. My daughter phoned me. And the man inside said that he'll release her for $10,000. Here's the money. I don't know he's here. Lieutenant? Lieutenant, Mr. Bremer is here with the money. He would like to bring it in to you. Time to come in. Go slow. Okay. Put it here. You know, I'm not going to keep all this money in yourself as another hostage. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. I want a helicopter. Sheldrake! You won't let the Bremers out until he gets a helicopter. He wants it to land here in 40 minutes, and he wants a plane waiting for him at the airport. We'll arrange that. All right, I want you to bring in the helicopter, <clears throat> but don't order any plane. And Roberts, who's your best marksman? The Stern. Where is he? Up on the roof. Get him a radio. <laughs>
Nothing. Hello, Virginia. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm a friend of George's. Hey, uh, you look like you could use some stuff. <sighs> Got some out in the car. Come on. No, I, uh, I, I only deal with George. He's dead. Oh, deed. I've taken over the business now. You can't deal in here. I've got the stuff you need right outside my car. Um, First time out is for free. Um, I'm getting to know my people. Come on. Come on. The car is right outside. I feel more. I want you to turn around, put your hands in the bar, and keep them. Come on. Come on. Virginia, come on. Let's get out of no, here. I'm scared. Richard, don't you come on. But look, he's, come on. he's not going to listen to me. Hello. I got to Virginia at the shot glass. But all will show up. You got to go to the ground there. I, I know. They'll be taking the liquor store. Now, I want all of them silenced. Virginia, Lavelle, Richard. Pull back. Clear the area for the helicopter. All units, pull back. Clear the area for the helicopter landing. All units. Time has just run out, Trench. He needs five more minutes, Richard. Sorry, I can't do that, Richard. Five minutes. Lavelle, come up from behind the counter, Richard, please. Richard, don't do this. Lavelle! Virginia McBain, he, he wants her in there. I don't want another hostage. I had two to hours to get her back here. I'm three minutes late. If I don't get her in there, he starts to shoot people. Captain? Harry Orwell and Virginia McBain are here. Point that at those men. If any one of them moves, you just shoot them, okay? Okay, okay, give me the gun, give me the gun. Take care of yourself. There's a lot more than $10,000 worth of heroin there, Richard. We only need enough for one fix. Come on, come on.
Keep these people coming. Pick up all this stuff. Let's go. Lavelle, move! Oh, no, I wish it was me. It was actually just because this Come on, looking at me. You're not oh, going to need that stuff those. anymore. Virginia, you're not going to need it. Come on, now, honey. Trust me. Just trust me. We're going to beat it together. Now, come on. We've got to get out of here now. Okay? Here you go. All right, Lieutenant. I guess this is about the end of the road for you, right? Listen to me very carefully now. I want you and Orwell to go out of the door first. Honey, you keep your gun pointed at Lavelle and keep very close to me. We're going out of here together. All right, let's go. We're coming out! Safe passage to the helicopter or all these people in here will die! You've got it. Wait for my signal, Stern. Try for a clean shot. It's your last chance, Richard. Yeah, I know. You ready, honey? Let's go very slowly now. They're coming out now. I'm trying to see... Yes. Harry Orwell and Lieutenant Trench are coming out first. Trask is right behind him, holding the M16 rifle. Beside him is Virginia McBain, the girl that Harry Orwell brought to him. Stand by. She is holding two guns on the owner of the store. They are moving very slowly. Stop! All right, move. Toast will take a little while. I have some coffee I am buying. Oh, that's a switch. I just came from the hospital. Virginia's going to be all right. South is... South is two. He's the patrolman that was shot. Oh, well, what about Elliot? We picked him up at the airport. What's going to happen to Richard? Armed robbery. Maybe I'll be able to help him. I, uh... Probably should thank you all. Well, you... may have saved my life. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. That is the worst coffee I have ever tasted. And I stole it from your office. <laughs> 